This is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play through a song called When She Says Baby by Jason Aldean. And it starts uh, with this really, really cool little lead lick that kind of comes back later on, where you can play 5th fret on the D string and do a slide to 7th fret. And then we go to 5th fret on the G string, and then 7th fret on the G string. And then some of this you can do with bends, but you could also do it with slides. I'm um, kind of doing 7th fret to the G string on the to, as to 9th fret. That's kind of a slide. And we do that twice. And then we go back to the fifth fret on the D string is kind of the slide again. And then fifth fret on the G. And then seven on the G. And then seven to, to fifth fret is kind of a pull off lick. So I'm kind of playing the note and letting my finger fall off the string to carry the sound. And then we go to seven on the D string. And then we go to fifth fret on the D string is kind of a slide again. And another slide. And then we go back to fifth on the, on the D string. Seven on the A. Fifth on the D. Fifth to seven on the A is a hammer on, so I'm kind of playing the, the fifth fret note and carrying the sound with my, my third finger, and then going to third fret on the A string. It's this cool little pentatonic lick where you got kind of five seven five seven seven nine seven nine five seven five seven seven five seven follow that lick and the chords that would kind of back up that lick would start on an A minor chord. Let me play A minor. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string second fret, and third finger on the G string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really sad. And then from the A minor we're gonna be going to a G major chord. Let me play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, the second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to an F major chord. And now if you know the bar F major, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about an easier one to two, but you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And a good substitute for that if you're just starting out is something called F major seven. And when we play F major 7, first finger goes to the B on the 1st fret, second finger goes to the G string on the 2nd fret, and third finger on the D string on the 3rd fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7, that sounds really groovy really happy. And a lot of our song actually just kind of, kind of follows that A minor, G, F progression. Um, and you can kind of do this with downs actually, if you do kind of 4 downs on the A minor, 4 on the G, and then 8 on the F, that might be kind of a cool sneaky way to kind of work it through. You may also want to think about using power chords through that part. And so you could use an A5 power chord. You could play an open A and, and a second fret on the D string. You could play an A and an E note at the same time. Or you could do first finger on the low E fifth fret, third finger on the A string seventh fret, and kind of do A5 that way. And then for the G, you could use a G5 power chord where you take that shape and slide it down to third fret and fifth fret. And then for the F, you could take that shape and just slide it down to first fret and kind of work the F as kind of a first fret, third fret power chord. So you have kind of the A5, G5, F5. So that might be kind of a cool way to kind of work it with the downs too. Now a lot of times to kind of support my voice though, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A minor and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up. A minor and the G don't last as long, so we're going to do it down, down up on those chords and save the whole strum pattern for the A, for the F. A minor, G, F. A minor, down, down, G, down, down, F, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, A minor, G, and then we've got kind of our big F. And then from that intro verse, then we go into our chorus part. And our chorus is kind of the same progression, but you hear some cool little hits where the F kind of goes back to the G major to lead back to the A minor chord. So if you're doing the power chord, you'd have kind of the A, G, F, and then A, G, F, G, A minor, G, F, A minor, G, and then we kind of got a whole F, and then we go back to G, kind of the end of the chorus. Now you may 
also want to kind of try that with the strum pattern. And if you want to get in that 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 G hit kind of on the F chord, you can do the F with it down, down, up, up, and then hit the G for the last down. Up. So we have an A minor, G, F, A minor, G, F down, down, up, up, G down, up, A minor, G, F, A minor, G, F, G, and we kind of play around with that. Or you could do it just the downs with the chords too. So we want to kind of find a way that works for you. Or if you want to mix it up with them, other patterns you can feel free to F, G, A minor, G, F, A minor, G, F, G. And then from there, then we kind of go into an intro return, which leads us into our next verse. Now, something else I'd think about adding to the song, though, is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the A minor, you have the A for the bass. On the G, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the F bar, you'd have the low E for the bass. And on the F major 7, you'd have the D for the bass. So we try adding basses to that progression. We have A minor, G, low E bass, F. A minor, A bass, G, low E bass, F the bass, down, down, A minor, G, F. A minor, G. And then we got our big F hit at the end of the verse. And then from there, then we'd be going into our next chorus, which are chorus with basses. You have the A minor, G, F. A minor with an A bass, G with low E bass, F. G, A minor, G, F. A minor, G, and then our F, G. And then from there, then we'll be going into our bridge part. And our bridge starts on the F, but then we got a cool little hit to a C major chord. Let me play C major. First finger stays on the B string, first fret. Second finger on the D string, second fret. And third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. So through the bridge part, you'll kind of hear this F, C, G. F, C, G. Kind of working through that progression. So we could do that with kind of our power chords too, if you wanted to. And you could use a C5 power chord for the C, where you do the A string on the second or third fret. Third finger on the D string, fifth fret, and you strum just the A and the D strings together. So you can kind of work it as kind of a power chord idea, kind of like F, C, G. Bases in for that too, and the C would kind of have your A string for the bass. So you'd have F of the bass, down, up, up, C, G, with low E bass. F of the bass, down, up, up, C, G. F of the bass, down, up, up, C, G. Then we got an F, B, G. And then from there, they would be going into our next chorus part. Now, if you know other strum patterns that would work, so you, you know, feel free to kind of mix this up. To our, our, our last chorus. So our A minor, G, F. A minor, G, F. G, A minor, G, F. A minor, G, F. G, G, F. And then from there, then we'll be going into our outro part, which is kind of like our intro. Or kind of like our, our chorus a little bit too. A minor, G, F. A minor, G, F. A minor, G, F. G, A minor, G, F. But that's the basics of how you could strum through When She Says Baby by Jason Aldean. So good luck! <laughs>